today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make an app that logs into facebook using our escapo app so using escapo we can log into firebase with our facebook account so the first thing we do we come here and we copy our app id we copy our app id and we need to enable this in development we need to enable in development but in this tutorial in this tutorial my app is not live so it's in test mode so no more it's not in development after this the next thing we do the next thing we do is we are going to integrate it i want to integrate the sdk into our schedule pull up so first thing we do we are going to create an app i will drop these links in the description so you come and create your app come and create your app so me have created my app my app have been created as i've created my app the app id is generated i will copy this app id please take note of it you are going to need it inside your app so please take note of it if you don't have an app you create new app no need of step two and step three it has been done in schedule pro when i'm at the end of the video the project will be released for download on schedule academy so this uses in the tutorial i'm already using the latest sdk which is 12.3 so all this has been done we are going directly to step five so here you put your your app package name and you put your main activity with your app package name that's why i did mine and you click save so to get this key you are going to need this app i will put the video description the app download link in the description i'm going to use this app to get this key Going to use the app to get this key. I'm going to show you how you can use the app to get this key. So you are going to after you have installed your app, whether in test mode or in development mode, you're going to come here. If your app is have been you have to only do this after you have compiled your app. So if you change this, if you sign the app again, you need to copy the hash key. So this is the hash key. So this is the hash key. We are going to copy it. After copying this. Please note that if you sign your app, you are going to still have to copy it because a new hash key has been generated when you sign your app. So when you sign your app or not, you need to copy it. You copy it and paste it here. So I paste my here and I click save. So if I make changes, I will copy it. I will cancel this one and paste the new one and click save. So we need to enable signing. I've enabled signing. So the next thing is we are going to add all this in our schedule project of which I have done. So we head over to schedule to do the programmatic setup. So this is my schedule project. This is my schedule project my schedule project so 
So by sketchway project, I have edited, I have all my ad, my Firebase library. I've all my Firebase library. So I added an image to get the user's Facebook profile picture, the user's name and the user's email. So this is our login button. We need to convert our leader layout to login button. So we come to our add more manifest, Android manifest, sorry. App corporated ASV. I we copy all these codes. But make sure uh, you need to change this code to your package name. Anyway, you see cop.sketch.sk, you change it to your app package name. You need to change it to your app package name. So we call our styles our string dot xml by clicking on resources values string dot xml I paste our app id here we also paste our app id here but the difference here are here is the protocol scheme add you must add fb to our app id here we just add only our app id so without be done that be done we head over to our code so that no need of setting or click list that we need to import these following classes to prevent errors we need to import all these classes we need to import the classes In our own create place a new video i'm using sk pro 6.1 fix i will put the download link in the video description use the other and sk pro version may not work and i'm not liable for any changes that will occur as a result of it not working so we set the permission because this is the info of the user we want to get we want to get the email and the public info public profile deals with the user's email the profile picture and the username of the user so when the user success is login we will we we'll toast a message connecting to firebase so after the user successfully login to facebook on our app we are going to sign the user into firebase so we are going to undo firebase access token i'm going to access the firebase token so I'm using this command block to edit the on activity results because we need to pass the codes after the user have signed in successfully to our Facebook Facebook account or your device after they have signed into their Facebook account. The next action is going to be executed in the callback manager. So we need the command blocks to do that. And we need to add this code. To initialize the view, if not the app will crash if you don't do this using command command blocks. So I created a more block called extra. In extra, we are going to undo. So when we are, when the users is seeing a message connecting to Firebase, this is what happens. We are going to use the users login Facebook login info to log into Firebase. So we are signing to Firebase and we are checking if it has signed successfully to Firebase. What we do is we can show the user info or we can send the user info to our Firebase database by using HashMap. We can use HashMap to send the user info to our Firebase database to store the user info just the way on login sources of email signing so this is what happened in our login source this is the same thing as on login sources of email signing so it's the same thing you can send all the users info you can send all of them to firebase database by creating a firebase database reference 
in our sketchway app user id user id So this will be the email, the profile picture, profile, then the username, that is the Facebook username. So we can go to our home activity from here because this is where the user has successfully logged into Facebook and also has successfully logged into Firebase. So in my previous video I've, I've showed how how the tail looks, but since Facebook has made changes to the library. I had to update the library before releasing this video because the old library Facebook has make it depreciated so it will work with the old library so I'll be using the latest library so when where you set the firebase you set the details of firebase you can go to your home activity or your main app activity which means the user has successfully logged into Facebook Thank you for watching this video. The project will be available on Sketch Academy. Please subscribe.